Jesus. Nisha takes Queen of Pain. No surprise to see Sumail on the Alchemist. So, thoughts about the Blood Spirit at all? He's repelled this push in a, a 3v1. And they are going to even bring down mid one. So this is their recovery play. They're hoping that they can make something happen on these TP counterplays with no Sonic Wave, perhaps. It's only a level one breathe fire, but it mitigates some right-click damage and four points into Dragon Blood. This DK does not have a care in the world right he now. He still has half duration on the ulti. Like, it's not yeah. going away anytime soon. He's here. Mid one's walking in. He's just walking Maybe in. looking for an Echo Slam. We'll get to drop it on Puppy, perhaps. Magic Missile falls and Puppy goes down. It's a messy fight in the trees. Zai trying to find Seb, but can't quite get him. Now Big Bad Niche is here. Mid one dunks, but it's already two down for OG. No tail won't and Matu out. Zooming. Dragon tail. And Matu on the other side. He finds Soxa. Rupture. Pretty damn good against Pango. That's going to be all right. He's getting close to the mech. But your Earthshaker is... You have three supports this game. But legitimately. Yeah. We say that jokingly sometimes, but that's really what this has turned into by the 10 minute mark. Now Rupture utilized in the bottom lane. It's on mid one. They'll drop the blood right. Soxa comes rolling in. Secret ready to take another fight. They don't have Nisha here. He's busy playing with the Alchemist in mid. Now down bottom. They do get the kill on Yapsor, but it costs them mid one. Matumba and Zai going in onto Seb. Surge away. Oh, no, he misses the spear though. The Alchemist TP'd out. And Nisha might still be able to get him. He has the spirit vessel, and that'll tick him down just enough. Nisha now confidence. Oh, he was under a ward there. But they, they actually don't have any way. Like, if they fish her, what's the follow-up? Uh, he doesn't have concoction yet, because he just hits level 10. He's going to take it, though. A perfect rolling thunder connection. It's, a, it's about all I've got. Nisha, invisible, just walks into them. Sumail channels the ultimate, drops it on the Zai, but No Tail gets stunned up. It's not looking good for OG in this fight. They lose No Tail first. Zai taking a lot of damage. The dunk from mid one does lock down Matu, but won't translate to a kill. Three dead already. The remaining two on the run. Seb and Soxa. I don't know if they'll be able to survive this one. He pops the mech, they blink forward, and yep, that'll be a triple for Nisha, four for Nil again. He didn't even have Sonic Wave for that fight. There, there was a moment where there was like a four-man Sonic Wave lined up if he had it. Just a uh, complete shutdown. You would think they had like more auras or something on the radio. I keep checking, but like there's no mech or anything here. They just straight up can't kill them. Like yeah. there's, there's nothing saving them, you know what I mean? Oh, absolutely. They're just that far ahead of you that you're still beating out Hand of God and a mech on a Darkseer. I mean, to be fair, Chin died without using the Hand of God yes. that last one. But yeah, they got they focused him instantly. Point well taken. You're absolutely right. They don't need defensive stuff because they've got the damage. And now they're just mass out leveling them too. You look at that hero level chart. Uh, 13, 12, 11, 10 on the top four for Secret. And top four on OG are 10, 9, 8, 8. With Chen stuck at a low level six. I mean, No Tail is just food right now. That'll be a tier two down mid. All the outer towers except this bottom tier two have fallen for OG, and now they're gonna find mid one silenced up, stunned. I'm reminded of the Michael Scott quote of sometimes I just start a sentence and I don't know where I'm going with it or how it's gonna finish. And that reminds me of this OG draft. Radiance top tower. I think it got away from them a little bit here. <laughs> I mean, the Chen Pango was a great opener. It's just somewhere in the middle of that draft. Even the Earthshaker, those first three heroes, you can't really complain with that. I think the, the Darkseer was a little too galaxy brain. Yeah, that's what it feels like. And Sumail is closing in on the Radiance oh, now. Oh, hey, 420. Nice. That's great. Yeah, it's 24. It's the discount 420. Oh, my bad. And wow. ruined now by Nisha. Thanks a lot. Sumail does finally get the Radiance. It's flying out on the Courier right now. They're starting to chase him down. Swap sets it up onto Sumail. Follow up Rupture. They want to kill him again. Zai blinks over the wall and cuts off the path to retreat. Now they swap him back in. Very nice combo. We haven't even really talked about the swap with the Rupture. Guaranteed damage. I really wanted to live there because he had the .35 transformation that he dodged the, uh, the magic missile. That was pretty cool. But dude, that's a fourth synergy with this Bloodseeker now. Counters the Pango, counters the Darkseer lane, synergizes with the Venge, and plays at the tempo that Secret wanted to try to match up against this Alchemist. Yeah, it was way too good. I, this uh, one... Can we just give the credit to Heen, even if it wasn't him? Let's just bring Heen into the conversation. Way to go, Heen. You're in the rubber stamp on that one. Says, all right, do you think Secret are going to win? 20-minute mark here. 
Uh, the Dire are smoking for a top outpost. They're gonna get it. Puppy, don't do it. They're, it's, they're not alone. Oh, finally. The Surge, the Concoction Kill. They're gonna get one back here. Oh, oh no. They might not. He could swap Nisha in three seconds to be safe. Oh, Puppy! He swaps it! The Sonic Wave's gonna hit all three. Puppy will go down, but he is the buyback. He wants to rejoin. Matsu gonna oh. pop the BKB and start slicing and dicing. First on to Sumail. The follow-up there on to Seb. They're just running him down. Socks are even gonna get... Oh, actually, he did manage to finish his way out of there. Yeah. Even if they're gonna steal the Rolling Thunder. You're back, huh? I thought I heard you. Zyari? Oh, he's gone again. Every, everyone in America, you know, they're chilling at home, using up all the internet, watching some Netflix. Uh, the poor guy. Thankfully, uh, well, mid one. Damn! Oh, bounty achieved. 360 kill for Nisha in the bottom lane. He did the full twirl before the last click on oh, a mid one, the former secret member. Oh, oh, she hurts. All right, so it looks like I missed uh, another successful team fight for Team C. Uh, yes, I would say so. Hey there, bud. Hey there. Yep. Uh, lost some packets. I, I think we found them, got them back in the right spot. Maybe someone finished their uh, their final rerun of Breaking Bad, you know? One of your neighbors. Man, just stop the Netflix. But uh, you're gone again, I'm not sure. Yeah. Oh, there you are. Hey, bud. Yeah, yeah. Oh, man. I could go for some in and out, not gonna lie. Speaking of America. Yeah, it's a... It's a... A cinch, as they say. Easy Roche. OG not giving up though, in typical OG fashion. They're still gonna look for their big plays. They're gonna look for Darkseer, the king of the comebacks, to perhaps perform one of his famous miracles. Yeah. I mean, Alchemist also sort of king of the comebacks, right? He farms so fast that we've seen these games that seem impossible, and somehow he still manages to hit critical mass. Not this one, though. <laughs> yeah. I, if I, I had to be a betting man. So Dota Plus right now, 98-2. So they're giving OG a solid 2% to call That's their That's one back. for each TI win. <laughs> they actually never drop lower than that. That would make sense. Uh, yeah. It's, uh... Zai okay. is going to find Seb. Yeah, Chain most stuns. of OG try to make the retreat, but Seb going to be the one that gets left behind. Uh, also a basher out on Matsu. Okay, Radiant's pretty good. Bottom tower is under attack. Meanwhile, in the mid lane. Middle tower is under attack. Yeah. Oh, don't worry. <laughs> He's got the Philosopher's Stone. Oh, well, that was... that, that'll bring us back into this one. I mean, I guess to be fair, Secret are maybe struggling isn't the right word, but a little hesitant to just run up to the high ground. Uh, they're just filling their inventories. I mean, yeah. he's just doing 360 kills on mid one, you know. It's pretty painful. All three cores have not died yet. Zoom. Socks yeah, so still again. has the stolen Surge, by the way. Surge DK, Surge Bloodseeker, terrifying. It's your mid three one. down mid. Midwan <laughs> still doesn't have an item. Dyer's middle barracks are under attack. He's gonna Desperately trying to farm this BKB. Still needs a couple hundred gold and they'll have to sacrifice their barracks in exchange. I think OG about at that point where they're gonna get one final fight. They see the out cutting and now, uh oh, Sumail, he's gonna be in trouble. Nisha and Yapsor respond immediately and go, oh yes, please, free money. Give me more of it. Yapsor, you can even take the kill. I spirit vessel him. Yapsor, there it is. That was your best. Fade bolt. Hey, we always wanted uh, Sanjin Kai to actually be picked up. Who's got it? <laughs> Nisha, he's gone for it. Oh my gosh. The Sanj Kai. How you know you're ahead? <laughs> the the mythical rumored item. I don't know if I've ever seen it purchased in a in a pro competitive game. It's such a weird item, so rare that you want status resistance and strength, but also spell amp and mana cost mana loss reduction. It's just I mean, a weird item. Queen is always touted as a hero that like could buy it, but then she usually wants other stuff like you know orchids yeah. and whatnot. She's holding out for the trident, Trent. Yeah, I think so. I saw the uh, the blades there. I don't think he actually wants the items. All right, Zai jumps in. OG taking another rough fight. This time, mid one does live until Nisha blinks in one more time. Now Seb getting targeted down. He'll fall. Does get the wall off, but no dunk used. 
Misha in deep. The Blade Mail actually helping him out quite a bit. They dive in onto Sue Mail. The Alchemist dies. No buybacks. And that's it. GG. 25 quick minutes. Secret not only win game one, all three of their cores deathless in the first match. Five kills from OG only on Puppy and Yap.